Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Trenches, but just came back from my morning walk down the Strand Beach, came back, there's a new checkers to open up, got some stuff, you know, coconut yogurt, a bunch of other stuff, oh, here's what I found, no, I better not tell you that, that's next month, okay, this is a Saturday, which means it's whatever comes to my head day, uh, I think it's Saturday, yeah, and, um, so this is a Saturday tea tirade, uh, as you may may not know. Tomorrow I, I get a, I read something, you know, and then I riff off of that. That's tomorrow being Sunday. On Mondays is me day, talk about me. Tuesdays is uh, uh, what happens in the U.S. U.S. centered day. Wednesday is world centered day. Uh, Thursday is audio drama day, the best day. And then uh, you have uh, Friday, which is a it's like a week wrap up, something I missed, whatever it is, like that. Well. So what's telling me my head is this. Now, I've done, I think, two or maybe, I don't even think three, but two posts about the elections and stuff like that. Or maybe also one before, whatever. So, I, and I'm sort of through with it. I'm sort of through with elections, but I have to do this sort of wrap up, the things that I missed or whatever, 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 whatever. Because tomorrow I'm going back. Don't, don't worry about that. Tune in tomorrow and find out what's going on. Okay. Here's a couple of things. Come to me, I forgot to mention. One of the things, uh, or, um, I think I mentioned because what, what happened with, with, with Trump, with his first administration, you know, he didn't believe, he didn't know he was going to win, and so the, he was uh, more the, the, the powers that be, the, the Republican Party, you know, they gave him stuff, people, you know, so that's how he got Popeye, who, who, who he thinks is his boy, I don't know, and, uh, you know, people like the other, the, the guy with the mustache, you know, all these war hawks, even, okay, he had those people, right? So this time, and uh, I found this out again, but listen to Joe Rogan podcast, uh, because that's interesting, those podcasts, the longer you talk, the more human you become. You find your humanness, right? When you're the, the media, the way it is now, you know, they just try to sound bite you and they, they can, well, they, they pigeonhole you, whatever it is. Then the other thing that's, that's most important that people didn't mention and uh, is that what should, in your team, who do you have in your team? Trump had a secret weapon. His his son, uh, uh, Byron, his name, not Byron, but whatever his name, the B guy, his 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 boy. Oh, I can say his boy. His boy is connected with certain things. Very smart, seemed like incredibly smart. And he got to humor. That's the other thing that uh, got the, the, the Trump uh, people had. They had humor. You know, they were having big time fun. Whereas the other people were in misery, uh, including the supporters. The supporters of. <laughs> Also, I have to laugh because it's funny to me. Uh, the supporters of uh, of uh, the the chameleon lady, right? They were all so serious, you know. The they they, they couldn't they were absorbed in their own seriousness. Okay, uh, but but all all uh, from all the uh, reports. Well, well, Trump said it himself. Byron's when I got him on those podcasts, like the Theo podcast. You know, they talk about you know the reason why he doesn't drink and. And, uh, and and corrals whatever it doesn't get to, uh, alter his state is because his older brother who he greatly admired you know was, died of drugs you know uh, those kind of things humanize you and also he was of course that's the one that got him on show road some other podcasts that were in. so 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 Trump tapped into that younger uh, the let's call it the what are we all what are, these these kind of internet kind of kind of thing um, which was strategic because. One of the, um, in fact, let's move over. So I'm sort of through with the campaigns and stuff like that. I don't even want to talk about those people. But here's, there are some tragedies and some revelations in this whole campaign. First of all, stick a, stick a fork in them. They are done with what they call lame street media, uh, 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 corporate media, uh, uh, legacy media, whatever name you want to call it. They are done. F done. 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 The format don't work. No people talking over each other don't work. Not, not, right? But here's the biggest. Oh, so that's good. And then plus, uh, on, on uh, also on the on the call it social media on the social media thing, you have a lot of people that really stepped up. Yes, this one guy I found. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name, but he does. He has good analysis. So I'll, I'll, I'll start following him, right? Uh, and hey, I know right? she, she got a band name, but I'm sorry, I'm into Candace, Candace Owens, not because she's Candace or used to be a right winger or whatever. I mean. That used to be whatever she was. Remember that guy Jank Yuga? He was a Republican long time, long time ago. That's why he has that bombastic kind of thing. So a lot of people change over. You just don't know when they change, you know. But anyway, 
What I admire most about Candace, research. This is what social media is supposed to be about. You, everybody thinks they're supposed to just blah, 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 blah. No, it's about research. It's about, uh, you know, forget just fact checking. It's research. You see? Uh, now, there are certain people, uh, no, there's, there's research. Let me put it that way. And also, uh, a lot of people got exposed because, for being so shallow. Even, oh, here, the narrative people got to check them out, see if they're, see if they're crying, right? Always, the, the name calling. The name calling is, came from the, 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 the comedian forces. They really changed everything. It was amazing. The name calling and the, and the scolding and the, and, the, and the wagging your fingers and the talking down, that was really amazing. Because I always knew these academic people, you know what I mean? They, 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 most people are not in touch. Let me put it, you're just not in touch with the, the masses. Even if you're in a big city like New York, whatever it is, you still have your circles and you're not in touch with the masses. I, I explained to you, uh, was it yesterday? That when I was stuck in COVID and I was, I had, had to be, I was in St. Louis and I was hanging out with the Republicans, learned a lot, you know? Where I, I always hang out with the downtrodden, where I am in, in, the, in the Eastern Cape or with the regular people. And they, they think differently could have different issues than people who can who can uh, social media it and, and read uh, and, 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 and choose their team and stuff like that. And here's the thing, you don't have to stay with your team. For instance, I explained this before, my first job at 16 years old was selling hot chocolate at the, at the Giants game in uh, Yankee Stadium, the New York Giants. Now, that makes me a, a lifelong Giant fan, but then again, I can change because when they moved to New Jersey, they're no longer the New York Giants that I knew. <laughs> they're not the Frank Gifford Giants, you know. So, the point is, what I'm trying to say is that you, you things change. Things have their, their lifespan and they and they change. So, though I, I appreciate, I, I like the Giants. I still like the Giants. I know, it's long suffering, whatever have you. But now I also uh, can appreciate other, you know, uh, individuals like that. Even other teams, but individuals. Also, you know, also I, I like always like the Oakland Raiders back in the day, but that's my time. But now things are always they they well I guess not the Oakland Raiders anymore. But it, that's what I'm trying to say. Things change. You now you don't have to change with them. You don't you don't have to. But why would you lock yourself into another another? Look, this is one of the things I don't I'm not into with Christians. You gotta be like Jesus. Well, we're not living two thousand or whatever three thousand years ago. This is a different reality. In fact, if anything, if you're into Jesus, you should be walking on water. Uh, I'm just saying, go up, let me not pick on the Christians. Let me leave the Christians alone. I start off with Candace Owen, Owen saying, so even her, you know, she's, I'm a Christian, blah, 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 blah. I say, yeah, that's good. What, what, what books do you read? I read the Bible, and then she reads all these right-wing people. Who, who you surround yourself with, or who you expose yourself to. I, mean, so I would always say, hey, hey, Candace, man, why don't you, you know, pick up some, uh, some uh, Amos Wilson, you know, just just get a little Amos Wilson <laughs> Anyway, um, but a lot of people have been coming up, uh, and so you know, you no longer have to be with, I don't say your comfort zone, but you're supposed to do your own research. Social media, you're supposed to do your research. You're supposed to listen, like, I listen to Professor Black Truth, and I, I listen to, 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 uh, to Black Authority, you know, Jason, but, but I listen to them for, I tell you, because, look, they're fun. I like the way they talk. I like the way they, 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 they snipe at people, but then I don't really like the sniping, calling people names. I think that's not a good thing, you know? I, I love Corey Hogan, 5150. You know, I get a lot of insight from, from him. But I, but you don't, you don't have to be all the way on that team. You can have an, an appreciation or a check-in with that team, with that team, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. I, I just look at the MoFax. I love MoFax. MoFax is my man. You know, MoFax is like, you know, he's he, he's a Neela Fuller acolyte like me, you know? so. But, but all these people can be wrong. Oh, you know, the biggest winner, though, to me, in this whole thing, not only with that, is Danny Hypon, the guy that used to work for The Intercept. Now he has his own thing. He, he deals with the Ukraine war, a little bit of the Gaza, and not much of the positive. But check it. He did a good uh, a good uh, wrap-up thing about uh, the whole election thing. Uh, it's only a half hour. It's not that long. So if you look at uh, DH, Danny Hypon, you know him. If you don't know him, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, but I really appreciate him, right? Now, of course, there's a bunch of other people out there. I can't get to everybody. I'm not really interested in everybody. There are things that are happening. Like tomorrow, I'll start uh, getting back to my African tip. We're in Africa right now. But uh, the new president of Botswana, oh, 
So I look at all this stuff only be, also because I know the, the, the U.S., the, the dying empire, whatever have you, they've got a, that whole money laundering thing they have with the Ukraine and, and with Gaza, whatever have you, that's got to change. They're going to put that money in to make more war into someplace else. And my uh, concern, I don't have a fear. That's the other thing, no fear. Like, like Mamuya, 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 Mamuya Abu Jamal, my, my mouth is just getting back together. I got, I got my... Uh, my, my stripes are coming back, so so the whole uh, Bell's palsy I have is slowly straightened out, but I still got the problem with, with my gums and stuff like that. So I'm not talking. I'm, I'm articulating, but I'm not talking as clear as I can. But me, Abu Jamal, he says at the end of his commentaries now, no fear. That's what you need to have right now. No fear. Do what you got to do. Ignore these people because just ignore them. When you react to them, call them names. How you call somebody a fascist? You don't even know. You don't even have the definition of a, how long. You know how how long a fascist def, the, the definition of a fascist. You know how many how many things they have on that. You want somebody racist? How do you do they call, that whole thing? Stop calling people names. Now, they, as soon as you call them names, then then you, know, you then you got to defend your thing. That they, they, they so you you're in this this vulgar wheel, this vulgar hamster wheel. If you have a uh, if you have a mission, whatever it is, do your mission. Stay on your square. Let me say one. Let me, let me put up. Oh, who's that? Hey, everyone. Hey, India's in the house. Hey, I'm going to be there. Yo, man, we're going to have good fun, man. We're going to be cooking. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. January, I'm coming to India. Jan have my room ready. I should be there. January, February, March, at least three months, if not April. Just trying to get my wife to come. Anyway, the point is, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm talking to some people. I'll get back with you some other time. Um, and, and, and what I learned, let me see, I've had a very long life. Like for people, when I say very long life, I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean like uh, so many different varied experiences. Like this whole thing with the Republicans or whatever, how come they were so successful? I saw it way back when, when I was working with an organization called Charge It in New York. They charged them tickets, they, they, were, they were corrupt. But I saw it then. But even before then, when I did my internship, oh, well, well, my undergraduate degrees in communications, right? Um, but I did an internship at a radio station. I worked at the copy department. The guy, in, this is year, let's say this was 1973. I'm not going to say that. I was in the 73. Uh, that's when I knew about the corporate takeovers of the, of the hospitals and stuff like that. But 1974, 74, 75, 75, somewhere around there, 74, 75. Uh, I was working for the radio station, and the head of the, the, the copy department, uh, he took this course, this called EST. E S T. This guy Werner Erhardt, you know. Anyway, he had this course called S. And the thing about S, the only thing I got from that, I didn't take the course, but this guy, you, 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 uh, how do you say it? You stay on your square, and no matter what, you ignore everything else, and you just go. Somebody says something, you deny it, you go, and that's what the republic. The republic. I don't even want to call people. That's what some operatives around the whatever. That's what they do. They they take they take a thing and it comes hot hell or high water as they say, they stay on their square. Meanwhile, everybody else is jumping around and reacting and whatever have you. They don't care. Tell me to do Werner or S people like that, and that's what and that's what the the, the current people get or getting upset and teary eyed about. Oh, we're gonna go into a, you know it's gonna be a takeover. It's gonna be this. They're gonna be ah please, you don't know nothing. You ain't been no place. You just been reading the same polemics. <laughs> right there. You know, the, uh, put, uh, doing somebody, you know, like academics are telling you this and that. Oh, please. You don't live in a world of academics. <sighs> Even, okay. Let me stop. Otherwise, I'm going to get upset. I want to stop right now just to tell you everything is going to be all right. As long as you do, you stay on your square. Stop listening to uh, these people. Stop listening to people calling it. Stop that. Leave them people. Leave them do what they leave. Leave them do what they do. You, if your principal, if your, if your, uh, if, if your head is right, you do that right then. That's all I got to say. It's a nice sight. It was a beautiful day here in Cape Town, Somerset West. Y'all be well. Okay. Bye.